Hey friends, what's going on? Jennifer Abs here, where I teach network marketing parents how to build a business that they love, a thriving business without sacrificing time away from their family like they did with their traditional job or without doing all of the old school traditional things that some of our uplines are still telling us. I'm going to teach you how to do it in a way that's fun, uh, that's rewarding, and it's around your schedule. So we're talking about influence marketing. We're talking about attraction marketing. So if you notice in the beginning of this conversation, I said I attract or I help network marketing parents, right? I help network marketing parents because I'm a parent. I've been online for eight years. I doubled my salary my former life. I was a retail store manager, and I was able to double my salary in my first year online, I was selling a higher ticket affiliate marketing program, making phenomenal money, but I didn't have the passive income, which is why I got started online in the first place. So I'm going to teach you how to do it, create passive income, which is that money that you're making while you're sleeping or hanging out with your kids, all of the fun things. But <clears throat> the most important thing when building a business this way is serving other people, is helping other people. So we have to be able to identify who it is we serve and who we help. So I've got a set of questions here that I've answered for myself and who I help in my business. And hopefully it will inspire you to do the work on who you help and who you want to serve. You can absolutely prospect. You should be prospecting. But attraction marketing allows you to build a business from your kitchen table around your family's lifestyle. And for some of us, that's that's the way we prefer. So I'm going to share my questions with you guys. And hopefully this will give you some, some guidance in building your own home-based business. So <clears throat> my perfect customer demographic analysis. Now you want to write this down and you want to be as specific as possible because this is where you go and find your clients, your customers, your future people, right? My first network marketing opportunity, um, I was pounding the pavement business to business, people to people, prospecting, asking a thousand people the same question. Who do you know that wants perfume and cologne and selling it on the streets out of my backpack? That is one way that you could build this business today. But there's a better way by using the, the um, attraction method and having raving excited buyers go, okay, here's my credit card. Here's my credit card. Sign me up. And that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do. <clears throat> so I want you to imagine that you are sitting and having coffee across the table from your perfect client. Okay. Who would that be? And I'm going to share with you guys one reason why this strategy is better than prospecting is because sometimes we just are in a hurry to make a commission. And so we go make the list of 200 people and we bug our friends and family and we do those things and we might get some short term commissions, but we're probably also hurting those relationships if they're not really interested in building a home based business that we're so excited about. And so it's a short term game but there's no foundation for the business, right? And so keep that in mind. You want to go after people who are excited about building an online business. They're serious about building an online business. They're serious about maybe quitting their career or, you know, I tend to attract affiliate marketers into network marketing because the residual income in affiliate marketing really isn't there. They just have to sell a bunch of stuff. That's one way, but leveraging other people is also another way to do business. And so I tend to, um, to talk to that person. <clears throat> so I help parents because I understand the pain point of not being able to provide because you don't want to go get a job, having small kids at home, but you want to feel like you're purposeful and impactful and helping other people, feeling like you don't have time to get the things done that you want to get done, feeling like you're letting your team down when really you're spending time with your kids, right? Those are real struggles that my person goes through on the daily. And so I'm able to help overcome those challenges and those struggles because I've already been there and I've already done that. So when you're clear on who you help, then really what you're doing is weeding out all the people that you don't. You don't want to have conversations with the naysayers and the, oh, I think I'll give this a try. Like you don't try to build a home-based business. You commit to building a home-based business like you were going to pay a million dollars for a McDonald's franchise. You can't give that a try. You're in it for the long haul. Now, one of the reasons why network marketing has such a high quit rate is because the barrier of joining is... 50 bucks, 100 bucks, less than a few hundred bucks. And so people quit. Oh, I'll give it a try. But they don't actually commit that this is a business as if they were to actually purchase a franchise. And when you talk to that person that's like, 
I hate this and I hate that and I hate this. And you can solve her problem or his problem because you're solving your problem. Um, then the conversation goes much smoother and they're ready to hand over their credit card and get started. So these are a few questions and I hope that they help you. So for me, um, they've been working kit since they were working for cash since they were 15 years old, right? So they're already hustling, babysitting, um, hostessing, waitressing, customer service, all of that stuff since they were a kid, right? Um, primarily they're in sales, customer service, and retail. That's my entire life. So I can speak to that. They have a strong desire to do better, to grow, to get promoted. Um, they know that if they work hard and they put in the work, then they can get paid, right? So they're not afraid to put in the hard work, um, but they also value their time. And that's where this is interesting because a lot of people will get paid per hour. And that's because they don't value their time. They value the skills that they have. But I can show you how to take the skills that you currently have and if I were to, you know, say, well, if you wanted to, you know, go to your kid's soccer game or go to work, what is your time worth? And now when you place value on your time, it's a little bit different of a conversation. So my person understands the value of their time and their hard work. <clears throat> they could be married or divorced. Um, they have small kids at home. They love adventure. They love fun. They love to see their kids happy. They love to see their spouse happy and they want to give them a better life. Um, they believe in the MLM direct sales industry. Uh, we currently have a lifestyle company. So that really excites those of us that are in my company. Um, and I help parents build a better business and build a better life around their family's schedules without sacrificing the job, right? So affiliate marketing, network marketing parents that want more time with their family by making more money online. They want passive income. They want to be debt free. Um, the recession's coming for some of us student loan. The grace period is ending. Um, you know, with the recession, people are getting laid off, furloughed, all the things, right? So they're worried about that. So um, online, they're already online, they're already marketing, or they've done it. Maybe they had to go back and get a job, but they believe in marketing. They believe in network marketing and direct sales. So I'm not having to talk people into it. Um, and it's online marketing parents who desire to have consistent leads and sales on the daily. Okay, that's who I'm targeting. I, I, I'm targeting the person that already believes in the business that can't figure out how to get leads and sales daily. Okay, so mom or dad is, is who they go, mom or dad. Like that's who they identify. I'm a mom, he's a dad. Uh, 25 to 55 years old, they could be married. They, if they're married, they're a family man or woman. If they're divorced, they're a single parent, uh, but they still believe in relationships and love and all that stuff. Uh, so number of kids, one to three, under 15, they're still at home. Uh, they live in the country, suburb, or city. I'm a city girl. My 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 people are city people. Um, primarily, I target North America, obviously. Um, so what kind of meals do they eat, right? We are an American family. We eat steak, steak burgers, pizza, uh, french fries, chicken, top ramen, chicken tenders, quesadillas. That's my kids' uh, basically their menu. Uh, we still eat fast food. We go to restaurants. We do make healthy choices, and we enjoy salty snacks. Uh, now, this might sound silly, but it's going to help in your marketing, I promise. Um, how do they work or are they a stay-at-home parent? Now, they could be a full-time career transitioning into network marketing, um, but most of them already have an online business and they're just not making sales consistently. They're a stay-at-home parent. They don't want to be on social media all day. They can't figure out the organic marketing. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to post. They don't know what to say. So if they do work, they have a 30 to 90 minute commute. What are they thinking about on their commute? How much longer do I have to keep doing this? How do I make more? How do I make more money and work less? Right, that's what I was always thinking. Um, they hate leaving their family behind, and they're sitting in traffic, and they're missing out on special events, field trips, um, Black Fridays, um, working Black Friday, right? Missing out on Thanksgiving, missing out on Christmas, missing out on those big holidays because, especially if they're in retail, they're going to work. What do they do at night? They watch TV. They escape. They escape the madness. They maybe they cook dinner with their spouse. Um, they're doing homework. They're doing some games with their kids, some arts and crafts with their kids, and they're scrolling on social media or playing a game on social media. Do they have daily pity parties? And if so, what are they about? Uh, they they'd rather be planning their next vacation or their next home project instead of figuring out how to make money online. Um, so what? are the things that they love. Uh, they enjoy local events like movies, concerts, sporting events, uh, amusement parks, activities with the kids, traveling, camping, and fun, fun outdoor ac activities. And where do they ha <clears throat> hang out? They hang out with their kids, their spouse. They hang out on social media. They hang out on places and activities. 
Um, they seek more personal development. So maybe they're going to seminars or small groups. Um, and these are certain people that they follow. Tony Robbins, Gary V. Grant Cardone. What Facebook groups are they in? This is important when you're doing online marketing, right? Um, they're in mom groups. They're in online affiliate marketing groups, how to, how to scale to $10,000 per month. Uh, they're in groups, small businesses, entrepreneurs, personal development, travel, and lifestyle groups. Who do they follow on Instagram? They follow Tony Robbins, Gary Vee, John C. Maxwell, Dale Carnegie, Abraham Hicks, celebrity influences, and social media coaches and gurus. What type of YouTube videos do they get lost watching? Social media coaches, online business coaches, work from home opportunities, personal development like Neville Goddard, Abraham Hicks, Gary Vee, and Tony Robbins. What would they rather be doing instead of working or staying at home? They'd rather be traveling. They'd rather be at the beach. They'd rather be at the mountains. They'd rather be experiencing the world and they'd rather be learning something new. So I'm able to use these to get a clear picture of my customer demographic. Now I'm going to use these for paid advertisement. And at some point, I hope that you can venture down that path because organic is fantastic and you can make six figures with organic marketing. But to scale, you're always going to need paid traffic. So I hope these questions help and I can't wait to see you in the next video.